Here's the real reason why the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE might not have a Snapdragon chipset. So the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE is right around the corner. It will likely launch in the coming weeks in some specific regions, but it will not have high-end specs. That becomes quite evident when you take a look into the chipset. As you might already know, the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE will debut with the Exynos 2200. If you recall, that's the chipset that the Samsung Galaxy S22 series came with for specific regions. And as the chipset had so many issues, the S22 series received a lot of negative reviews due to it. Considering that a lot of us were expecting to see the Galaxy S23 FE with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. At least, if that was not possible for Samsung, I expected the device to ship with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. But there are some specific reasons why Samsung went with the Exynos 2200 instead of the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. Take a look. As mentioned earlier, the Samsung Galaxy S22 phones did not receive good overall positive reviews. The Exynos 2200 made Samsung see lower sales than anticipated. This could have eventually made the South Korean giant halt the production of the S22 devices with the chipset. That means Samsung currently has a huge amount of Exynos 2200 lying around. So Samsung decided to use it in the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. Samsung Fan Edition devices have always been a favorite for budget-centric users, and the Galaxy S23 FE does not aim to be an exception in that regard. Now you may already know how much Qualcomm chipsets cost to acquire. To be exact, Qualcomm is selling Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for $160 per unit. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is $130 a piece. If Samsung utilizes any of those SoC for the Galaxy S23 FE, it will be pretty hard for Samsung to keep the price low. And if the device does not come with an appealing price tag, Samsung will not be able to sell it. To give you a perspective, the standard S23 starts at $799.99. And to make the FE device appealing to the crowd, Samsung needs to price it lower than that. I expected to see a $599 price tag, but that's just my two cents. We will know for sure when Samsung makes an official statement regarding the device. The Galaxy S23 series is not doing as good as Samsung expected. Although the lineup did pretty great at the start, Samsung anticipates that the sales of the series will decrease by more than 20% in the second quarter. That is one of the reasons why Samsung is launching the Galaxy S23 FE early. Samsung wants to make up for its current financial losses. And if Samsung wants to boost its sales and generate more profit, going with an in-house chipset makes more sense. So by utilizing the Exynos 2200 and the Galaxy S23 FE, Samsung can enhance the profit margin on the device. And if the device sells well, it will let the company recover from its current financial losses. There's a report that suggests that Samsung is currently utilizing an advanced foreign process to mass-produce the Exynos 2200. This could make the Galaxy S23 FE perform much better than the S22 devices with the same chipset. Moreover, Samsung is more than aware of the barrage of criticism it received over the Exynos 2200, so it would not want to face the same with the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. It will harm the sales of the company. So the device could indeed be a great pick for the money. You just need to wait for the official unveiling to confirm that. That's it for today. What do you think about the S23 Fan Edition? Let me know in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.